Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, starting to see some rain move back into the forecast here for us in 2014. It's been dry for most of the year. In fact, uh, 2013, the driest year on record for Eugene and Springfield. Now it goes all the way back into the 1800s, where we were about 25 inches below where we should be in terms of the amount of rainfall that we needed to pick up for the year. Started off dry so far this year for the first four or five days, but we're starting to add to that. In fact, we've already quadrupled the amount of rain that we saw in the first six days alone. With about a quarter inch yesterday, we've picked up about 16 to almost two tenths of an inch today. We'll probably we'll get to that mark as we get some of these leftover showers moving through. The area of low pressure working its way into the western Washington coastline and even a little bit of snowfall as well. And look at some of the convective nature of that. You can see the real heavy showers pushing their way across parts of Interstate 84. And just to the corner of your screen at the very end of the loop, there it is. That's the next storm system that will be coming through in the next 24 hours. Zoom in a little closer on the Storm Tracker 9 Live Radar Sweep and show you what we've got so far. Still some heavier pockets of rain around McMinnville, pushing in across the I-5 corridor as you go over in towards uh, Mount Hood, looking at some decent snow. Uh, these won't be the best snow days for the ski resorts. That'll be Thursday and Saturday, and I'll tell you why in a second. Go further south down the I-5 in our neck of the woods. Things pretty quiet, a couple of light scattered showers, and we'll eventually see these taper off overnight tonight as we sort of wait for about 12 hours. Now, in anticipation of that next storm system coming, we've got winter weather advisories out, mainly affecting the Santiam Pass right around Highway 20. Most of it will be north of us here in terms of where the real heavy snow will be, but it is an indication that we've got a pretty strong storm that we'll be pushing on through. So in the last 24 hours, we saw about uh, three tenths of an inch in Newport and Eugene, about two tenths in Corvallis. 1500s in Roseburg and about a tenth as you get down towards North Bend and Coos Bay just to Trace Mound out in Central Oregon. And for today, we also saw a very mild afternoon, mild overnights in the upper 30s, and we may even keep those overnight lumbers in the 40s as we head into the next couple of days. Low 40s out towards the Dallas and Portland, a little warmer as you head south down the I-5 and not the 60s, but still 50s out on the coast. Overnight tonight, I'm going to keep us into the 40s and should be able to get some fog starting to redevelop as we get this low moving out of the way. But here's the next one already starting to send the first wave at it. You can see the jet stream pointed right at the northwest here, so that'll just funnel these little storms right across us over the next four to five days. So what will be snow up at the ski resorts is pretty much rain everywhere else through the morning, some lightly scattered showers, and then see the front come through, bringing some heavier amounts by the afternoon and into right around dinner time, tapering off once again for Thursday afternoon, and then we'll be anticipating a big storm, wind and rainmaker coming Friday night into Saturday. So breezy tomorrow along the coast. Temperatures will be in the low 50s. We'll also see low 50s with some afternoon showers. Mild overall across the Umpqua and the Cascades. That'll translate to about three to six inches of snow at the passes and above. In central Oregon, a wintry mix, breezy as well. And in the Willamette Valley, we'll see afternoon showers. And it looks like we'll keep things kind of soaky out there for the coast Thursday and certainly Saturday. That'll be the big day where we'll see some wind coming in with rain as well. In the Umpqua, some scattered showers. Temperatures in the low 50s to upper 40s. And overnight lows sitting above freezing for the most part in the Cascades. But that does mean the ski resorts will get much needed snow. And we'll be back to sort of a soggy forecast for us here across the seven day. So possibly 50 mile an hour winds out there, gusts, I guess. I think so out towards the jetties and whatnot. Yeah. But, you know, we'll kind of fine tune it as we get these next couple out of the way. And the computers really lock in on it. Excellent. All right. All right.